It's DJ. It's Brian Number. And we're back with another video. Before we get into this video, make sure that you guys subscribe and tap the notification bell down below and like this video up. Comment down below. But without further ado, today we will be reacting to I struggled at math in school. It is it's so hard. Yeah, it's a story booth reaction. So, let's see what this is about. I've never watched this before. None I've people. never watched this before. Uh -uh. He never watched this before. So, none of us have ever seen any story booth videos ever. So, we're going to check it out today. Since it's only three minutes, shall we do two? No, I'm just going to do one. Just to see what it's, what it's all about. If we like it, can we do two? Story booth, real? Okay, story so anime. when I was younger, I wasn't really at math. I was good at other stuff like literature and language arts and history and I all that stuff. And I just couldn't do math as well as I could do. I other. love math. I and was art. homeschooled up until fourth grade and when I started actually going to public school. And the first year I was there, I really, really struggled in math class. My teacher didn't help. He would purposefully call out me even though my hand wasn't raised for a problem. I hate I it when teachers, teachers, teachers did that. that they always do that now. My case whatsoever. But I me and I just, I would never have the correct answer, answer and I'd always, I would turn red and I would get all flustered and I would mutter and <laughs> it just made everything so much worse. That didn't help my self-esteem at all because the other kids would look at me and be like, oh, why doesn't she know math? Oh, she's such an idiot for being a homeschooler. Aww. And I did know math. It wasn't my strong point. I mean, we all have weaknesses and stuff, stuff. Like, I bet most people watching this are good at math, and I bet some aren't, but that's okay. Yeah, this continued for a while, and I tried to get better, but it just wouldn't stick in my memory as much as other stuff would. So I passed fourth grade, and the same stuff happened in fifth grade. Like, I wasn't really getting and hold on anything, and it just wasn't really my favorite thing to do. And I really tried to prioritize it and help myself, and my parents tried to help. And they even made me stay after school so I could learn more things about it, and that didn't help at all either. And I had another math teacher, and he wouldn't help either. He would do the same stuff the previous teacher would. He would call out my name. Even though my hand wasn't raised, and I'd have to sit there like an idiot and just keep quiet. And then all the kids would laugh at me, and he'd go on to another person, which I think is a wrong way to try to teach somebody. is just calling out on them when they're not expecting it. And uh, I'm in eighth grade now, and I did pass sixth and seventh grade. It was pretty much the same story for all the grades that I struggled in math. And now I am taken out of that school, and I am homeschooled again, and I have gotten so much better at math, and I can do stuff that I'm confident with, and I'm just grateful that I'm not as bad as I was, and it just takes time, and it takes a certain kind of person as well, and you just have to know what's right for you. Like, you don't have to be great at a certain subject. You can be perfectly fine in another subject, and I'm telling you this story because I know a lot of kids out there are not as great as other stuff. It could be a sport. It could be a subject in school it could be literally anything but and it's okay if you don't get that hold on whatever you're trying to learn it's just that you don't have to change you just might want to improve and it helped a lot that is so true though because i remember being in school and the teacher even if you don't know the answer the teacher will call on you and i understand they're trying to help you but if i don't know the answer and you're making me feel stupid. How is it helping me? Duh. Do you guys have that problem in school sometimes? No. A little bit. That's when I was in first grade. In first grade? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't call on for no exact reason. And, and some I teachers... Was just trying to understand the problem. <laughs> like, I've been a teacher, but I've been a teacher for little kids. So we don't oh, really... Yeah call on them like that it's like one time i got called on in second grade which i am right now i wasn't even raising my hand yeah it's hard i work with little kids and well i work with three and four year olds and i did five year olds for a little while too and i did have a um my co-teacher she would do that sometimes because in from her perspective, it was 
trying to get the quieter kids to participate. But for me, I think that teachers should find a different way to do it because it can make the child feel like they're being picked on. And nobody wants to feel like they're picked on because it's going to lower their confidence. It's not going to boost their confidence. It's going to lower it. So I think teachers should find a better way to help kids other than calling on them if their hand's not raised. Maybe making them stay after class and asking them why they don't raise their hand or something like that and then trying to find different ways to get everyone participating so that kids don't lose their confidence. Because when they lose their confidence, then that's for some kids, that's why bad behavior happened. But that was cool. I think that that's something, the story booth, something we can do because it it gets us talking about like real life situations that y'all might go through sometimes. Never. Like this one. I just try to understand the problem. First. Yeah, it's, it, you can understand the problem, like but for some, for some people, math is hard. Like f for me, math was very easy up until I got un into the sixth grade. And then I switched schools, and they were ahead of what I was doing in my old school. So it was hard for me to catch up because I was learning one thing, and then I have to jump like three Units. paces ahead because the other school was learning something completely ahead of what I was learning in my older school. So for some kids, it can be real hard to to simply just try to understand the problem, especially when there's nobody to really help them. Um, like, um, I just can't try to count it in my head for Did you raise your hand? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I forgot I was in school. <laughs> I just try to, like, count it in my head first, and then, I pro and then sometimes I get the answer. Yeah. But that was our reaction to... The story both um, video if you guys want us to do more of these let us know down below and in reference to the posts we put up about live stream a lot of you said yeah so on Thursday 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because we're on the East Coast we will be going live on our YouTube um, yeah, we're going to go live on YouTube, not Instagram, because most of you guys are already on YouTube, so we're just going to use the YouTube live thing. So we're going to go live on our YouTube Thursday at, <laughs> at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And stay tuned after this video, maybe in a, a little while after this video, but it's going to be the same day. Me and Braylon have a video. Oh. DJ can't do it because it's girly stuff. But he can, but he can do mommy's makeup. Uh, nope, sorry. <laughs> but I have to do it. Please. DJ <laughs> like, nah, I ain't with it, B. I'm not with it. I'd rather record a Roblox video. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video for today. Day. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video for today, and I lost my friends. We love you sports. guys. Bye bye. Are you guys gonna say bye? Bye.